Hunter? We want it, for sure. Absolutely. Thank you, Soph. Used to love going as a kid. All right, thank you, Soph. Storms, severe storms moving in across the region as I speak. Details next. A faulty tower of misery. It's a complete... Transform your home into a haven with cool, pure, clean air, creating a world of perfect comfort. Take your home to the next level with the Air Specialists. Well, it really didn't feel like mid-April in the afternoon. Sun felt a little more like January, February at times today. Very warm also early this morning. And when you see this kind of cloud inland around 9, 10 a.m., alto cumulus cloud, there's a good chance that it may overdevelop in the afternoon if conditions are right because the moisture trapped in the mid layers there is forced upwards as all the thermals begin down here on the surface. And uh, that helps create showers and storms. And that's what's been happening inland along this trough line occurred yesterday. Most of the action happening north of us, but what about the storm cell that sat just off our coast last night, illuminating the skies with what's called sheet lightning, because you've got intra lightning, which is happening inside that cloud cluster, and that illuminates the atmosphere around it. And that's why it was flicking so much across the region. So storms galore right across the northwest, and again, just to the north of us, but uh, some of these cells will be threatening our local area over the next 24 hours, because the trough line is sitting there. We've got another southerly on the way, stronger one that will be coming through on the weekend and that is going to help create increased wet weather along the coast. But tomorrow it's going to force that trough line further north and take with it the shower and storm development. But we may see a little bit again, some isolated showers and cells potentially forming around our local area, like the central coast got hit this morning. So Sydney, uh, the southerly is on the way. So tops of 24 uh, throughout tomorrow. It's been very consistent for Melbourne this time of the year. Normally it's seesaws, hot and cold, hot and cold with all of the fronts moving through, but it's been very consistent now, some cooler air moving in. Adelaide consistent along with the along with the Alice and Perth, still hot and dry in the west. For us, very warm yet again, 25 to 27 degrees was a good call across the majority of the region throughout uh, today. Now tomorrow, light winds in the morning, there's the southerly just kicking in. In, a little bit fresher throughout tomorrow, so it's beginning to build. Starting out fine, great morning, a little bit of increased cloud, all of that instability to the north of us, right on the southern edge of it. So we may see again those isolated little shit cells or uh, storms form up, and that's why we've got mostly shower icons here with tops of 24 because the southerly will come in and cap off those temperatures throughout tomorrow. But I'd say towards the mountain areas and potentially parts of the Hunter, we may see a storm. So there it is, at least they've got one in the forecast there around the tops, otherwise mid 20s throughout uh, the upper Hunter. Swell at about two metres. It's been very, very consistent. It was affected by the winds a little bit uh, throughout today. Uh, tomorrow, sun up 616, down 528. It's an early morning high tide, so we're dropping to the low, getting there just after 11. Waves still over a metre out of the south southeast and wave period over 10 seconds. So some showers there about, and there's that southerly coming through. Temperature drop, an increased wet weather on Saturday, clearing, backing off for Sunday and early next week and we're straight back to the mid-20s. So get ready for a little bit of a, a cooler blast coming through to kickstart the weekend and with it, some inclement weather. Let's go to uh, the surf, uh, the swell about. Water temperature is well over 21 degrees still at the moment, so still very nice. But as I said, it was a little bit bumpy and choppy and wind affected from first thing this morning and overall remaining that way. We may have the west southwesterlies again tomorrow and then switching around to the south and building through throughout the day. Yes, yeah, severe storm cells widespread right across the region tonight, so please take care. Okay, thank you, Gav, and that is NBN News. So thanks for your company. From all of the NBN team, good night. Good night.